Welcome back. Hey guys. So, okay, we're continuing our series on prepping the garden for spring and summer. Today, we're going to start seeds. And I believe we're going to start like eggplant, peppers, and tomatoes because those will take the longest. They need more warmth. And so we want to get those in the ground like within six to eight weeks. So we're going to start with those. And it's too cold. <laughs> You'll see me. I mean, I just keep putting my hands in here. It's just so darn cold today. But I got to get these seats started because you know what's going to happen? We've been cold, 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 rainy, rainy, rainy. And then boom, it's going to be spring and it's going to slide right on this into summer. It will be lucky if we have a spring. So I hope to get my... Um, melons and my cucumbers and all that kind of stuff in the ground maybe in a couple of weeks i think that would probably be the perfect time uh next wednesday is our last frost date so i'm given a couple weeks after that and then i'll start direct sowing other things but for now we need to get tomatoes eggplants and peppers started so before we start that check out my DIY, DIY, where did that come from? My Dollar Tree haul that I did yesterday. Now, I told you I am not buying seeds, but what I wanted to demonstrate to you is if you are starting fresh, you have no um, previous history with growing plants or very limited, or you just don't have any seeds, I wanna show you what Dollar Tree has right now, but you have to go soon because they will be out of everything before you know it. They they get it in the store and then they run out of everything really quick. So here we go. These buckets, I like them because they're deeper. I have the other ones, they're oblong, but they're just not deep enough. They've got handles. I can use these to harvest as well. So they can be dual purpose. So I got a couple of these and what I really wanted to show you is they have seeds right now at Dollar Tree. And I wanna show you, like I didn't need seeds in general, but I did buy some things that I did need. So, this is a wildflower blend in shaded areas. So I'm gonna use this, although the front entrance of my house is not shaded, they, they don't all get a lot of sun. They get the evening sun and that's pretty much it. So, and these are all different kinds of seeds. I, I'm very careful on when I plant in the backyard where my dog is. So this whole packet, let's see, does it say how many are in here? It says, I think 14 grams. I don't know how much that is, but it's, it's full guys. It is very full. So there's a ton of seeds in here. This will last me a very long time. So $1.25 for all of these seeds. You don't have to get these big ones. They also have little ones. Look at this, I got marigold seeds. I'm not sure how many are in there. Maybe not too many, but 25 cents. It says four for a dollar, but you can buy one packet for a quarter. So I had to get some marigolds. They also had a, um, a big packet of these. So I got those because I, I found that I needed some marigolds. So I got, one of each or two of each of these. So these were 25 cents a piece. Whoops. <laughs> marigolds. So you gotta have marigolds to keep the pests away. So a dollar and a dollar 25. That's it. I did find my pepperoncini seeds. Yay! I'm so excited. So, yeah. Oh, I also have problems with gloves. Now, I got these gloves at, um, Dollar Tree and you know I just have big hands I have, I'm big boned you know I always have been I've never been a tiny thing I've always been athletic <laughs> so these are actually they're really soft on the inside they're kind of thick come summertime they're probably gonna be a little too warm but I just always have a hard time finding anything that will fit me and these fit me really good and actually I could put them on right now <laughs> and they would be nice and warm on my hands now they need they need some more because they're kind of, I mean, you, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. 
this is for like when you're doing other things, not planting seeds. I suppose I can mix the dirt with these. <laughs> but anyway, I mean for $1.25, you can't beat it. They're nice and soft. They're soft on the inside. It almost looks like, um, you see that soft? Yeah. So anyway, $1.25. So that's it. But you can do it. Now, many of their um, containers and things like that, they're very cheap. I do buy some trellises from there just because, I mean, I, I can use them over and over and over. Um, I don't know, there's some things that I buy there. I buy my yard, um, my yard lamps, you know, the little things, the lights that go, that stake into the ground <laughs> and they're um, solar powered. I get those there, but I buy those online by the case. So um, all the ones from last summer are toast. It was just way too hot. We'd used them the year before as well. So I didn't have a many pretty, listen, it was just too hot for anything last year. So we didn't spend a whole lot of time in the backyard other than in the morning when the lights aren't on. So anyway, uh, but if you want bulk of anything, going online and ordering a case is a really great idea. And the yard um, lamps, the little stakes, yeah, they go really fast, but you can get a case, like I said, online. They will ship it to your store and then it's free shipping. So that's what I do. I don't like paying for shipping. Does anybody like paying for shipping? I don't think so. <laughs> All right, so that's it. I just wanted to share that real quick with you so that I just want to encourage you. You just need to grow. Listen, um, get some seeds, get some dirt. Let's grow together. And we learn each and every time we grow, we learn something new. Listen, hey, I've never made pota uh, sweet potato slips, but I they're expensive. And they were expensive and it was kind of a fail. So it was an expensive fail. Now, I've got two sweet potatoes. I bought them, gosh, I wanna say November of last year. Um, in the organic section at Trader Joe's. So, you know, I don't know how much that was, maybe a couple bucks. That's a whole lot better than slips that you buy and they mail them to you. They're very expensive. And I'm determined to grow sweet potatoes. I love them. So anyway, let's get going. You know I can yak and yak and yak. I know you don't want to hear me yak. <laughs> let's, um, yeah, let's get these seeds started, shall we? Okay, here we go. Okay, so my favorite uh, potting mix, seed starting potting mix, I use every year. I get it at Walmart. It's great works great my seeds germinate awesome so this is the fairly big size 12 quarts um, it's 597 I want to say so that's where I've looked everywhere and um, that's my go-to so I have some leftover from last year so I'm gonna start with this and then I'll add that and we'll get started with these seedlings first. We gotta get our soil and we gotta get it damp. We want our seeds to be in damp soil, okay? I don't like to have to water um, after I plant. Sometimes I have to, but I don't like to. That's not my preference. Now this is gonna be dry because it's from last year, but we're gonna use it, dog on it. So we just gotta dampen it. Oh, I put all that dry soil in there, but I don't think I'm going to need more than that, honestly, because we're not planting that much. Just peppers, tomatoes, eggplant. That's it. So maybe, maybe eight of these little ones. So we should be good. Okay. So let's add some water to the soil. Soil actually goes further than you would think. Um, you know, you saw that bag, there wasn't that much left, but I mean, that's that's a good amount of soil. <laughs> oh my goodness, and it's stinking cold out here, guys. Can you tell? <laughs> it is cold. Oh my goodness, it's just been raining. What's the weather been like where you're at? You know, it's like, I feel like I'm behind but yet 
you know how we get all those um, memories from last year kind of things? I had stuff growing bountiful right now. And yeah, we have not even hit spring, not even close to it. I mean, we've had days where the lows are in the 30s and the highs are in the 40s this week. We had really bad winds. And you know, it's not uncommon. There's There's been a lot of people that have had a rough go here right, lately. I don't know, it's, this winter is taking forever. We never go this long. So anyway, um, okay. I think we're good. Okay, you see there, I just put the water in there. It does, you know, it, it'll stay together, but it's not wringing out wet. And so it's actually perfect. I just wanna make sure that there isn't any stragglers. You know how sometimes in the bottom, you could have a dry pocket, I don't want that. So, but I think we're good to go. This, hopefully, there we go. All right, so we're just gonna put this on top like this. And we're gonna do it for all of these. Okay, <laughs> it's not 30, it's 60. It's, there's one, two, three, four, five, and five is 10, and there's six in each. So that's at least 60 plants, because, but I usually put more than one seed in each little pocket. So anyway, okay, so let me get my hand washed off and then we'll get these seeds planted. Woo -woo. I'm so excited. Um, Oh, whoops there you go right now the only thing I'm really needing to do like I said is the peppers tomatoes and eggplant I found out that eggplant you grow it similar to a tomato they might even be related is that nightshade I think it is okay let me wash my hand and we'll get going okay we're back so what I've done is I am um, I don't have time to write out the little tabs but what I do is I have my little plot plan in my garden book and I just, these are the two trays. This is how they're at. I made a little boo-boo there, but that's okay. And so I'm just gonna write in these little spots what's planted. So then I'll know for sure. <laughs> I can add little uh, markers later. So I do this all the time, so no big deal. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start with, let's start with the tomatoes, shall we? Okay, so that's my only slicer. And so I've got, let's see, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I have five cherry tomatoes and two. This is a paste tomato. It's kind of small, it's kind of medium. Hey, that's enough. And then our Rebecca Allen, which is a slicer. Okay. So we'll do these top two first. I'm going to, um, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to um, let, I'm going to do a, a first few and then I'll put it on a time lapse so you can, you can watch me, you can be with me, but you don't have to, you know, spend all that time. I know sometimes our videos are long. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I like to talk. <laughs> it's fun being with you guys. Okay. So, oh, cool. Uh, Rebecca Allen. So I'm going to do, and so it goes, I have to decide how many of these I'm going to do. Can you see? There we go. See those? You know what tomato seeds look like. Yeah, so they're small. We're gonna put two seeds, so one and then one. So two, I'm just gonna barely tap it in there. 
Hmm. One. Two. And then you can just bring the soil over the top. Bring the soil over the top. Just like that. I'm gonna try to just do those four guys. I know it's it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. So I'm gonna put an RA for Rebecca. Um, let me get these seeds back in this packet. So Rebecca Allen and Rebecca Allen. Okay. So see, this is how this is how we go. Rebecca Allen, Rebecca Allen. That's what we put in the top there. Okay. All right. Now then. I just press it just a little bit like that. And then cover it up, cover it up, cover it up, cover it up. And that's it. Okay. So I'm going to speed along and bring you with me. <laughs> I'll be back.
Okay, so we're just about out of sun and um, we got these seeds done. What else can I tell you? Oh, so this is what it looks like. There you can see. Now I know what I have in each little thing. So no worries. I can put little markers in there later. And um, yeah, I'm running out of sun. I'm so glad I got this done. I've got seeds started. How about you? Tell me in the comments below. I want to know, have you started your seeds? What have you started? What's your weather like? Are you excited? I'm excited. This, this starts the new season, the growing season. Ah, <laughs> ah I'm so excited. All right. Peace. Mwah. Mwah. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.